Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Yes, Michael Zuber here, one rental at a time, and I'm speaking to you from my soon-to-be podcast studio. It's black. They kicked me out of my office because they're painting it today. So how are you doing, Stephen? I'm doing fantastic. And yourself? It feels really weird to be surrounded by boxes and the, and the wall is black. So it's just a weird feeling this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's just a nice... Um segue because then once you do get everything built out it would just be like oh, a nice pop yeah. from you know all black void of any color or light yeah. boom look at this nice you know versus my typical <laughs> corner of the wall behind it so <laughs> some of these days i'll have to kind of but i'm so busy I, by the time i'm done talking to you it's just emails phone calls and yeah numbers and yeah well, so hey, I, I i am i let, let's be clear i i am here uh to make you busy Right, the one rental at a time <laughs> family is is all about You're doing, doing deals. You're doing a fantastic job, let me yeah. tell you. I, you, know, <laughs> uh, you know, as long as you keep bringing the value and good work, I, I'll keep yeah. singing your praises. And again, I've used you, so I know I know what's going on. So, uh, right. I I do want to talk about we are in a raising rate environment. Um, right. You know, it, it uh, the non QO space is very different, right? Matt, the mortgage guy, really tied to the ten year. Right, we had a, a an emergency call, I think Wednesday evening. <laughs> looking at how, how the bond market just fell over, which means if the bonds yes. go down, rates rise. It was it was wild to see all the repricing, 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 repricing. Right. Uh, right. You're in a different game, right? So um, right. But even for you, right, your platform, right, where you mm -hmm. give mortgages, you securitize them, and then you sell them. Your buyers right. are now basically, hey, it's different now, right? So right. Uh, we and the good news is we've been we've been in front of this. We've been telling people. Uh, raising yes. rates are coming and they yes. are here now. Yes. W what yes. I would tell people is, sorry, you missed the last one. We tried to tell you, right? I told you I was refining free and clear for properties. months. Mo months. I told, I told months. you. <laughs> Didn't change the message months. I mean, months. a quarter actually, a full quarter. Cause that's yeah. when, that's when we, our floor was at that all time historical low, you know, yeah. 30 or fixed. And so it hasn't been just overnight, but some of the, uh, uh, viewers saw it instantaneously and, and jumped on it. So we were on like the third and, and, and fourth series of loans for Stan Barber mm -hmm. in that particular capacity because they understood. Now with the move, they even understand as well. So before we get into too much detail, although I work very happily <laughs> for Boston <laughs> Wars Capital, I, I forgot all the topics and ideas discussed on the center of that of mine and Mike. So other than that, let's continue. Um, as far as how our business models is, is, is structured, we fund loans, we close them, we package them up. And we go, like you say, to Wall Street to see, you know, or to securitize them. So yeah. it's, you know, rates and, and, and guidelines and things of that nature are typically, you know, based on market appetite, Wall Street, mm -hmm. and then a lot of data from past loans that, that we've had that either mm -hmm. mistakes, you know, of yeah. how we structured the loan or, or guidelines or under, underwrote it and, and the performance versus, oh, we saw, we didn't know this uh, happened as a byproduct of this. Now we can be a little bit more confident in expanding in this area, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm saying to be a little bit uh, uh, looser uh, in a sense. Uh, 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 and so that's where we get most of the, I think, structure uh, yeah. of, of business um, if, if I yes, were, as of late. Yeah. yeah, if I were to talk about the non-QM space, not Velocity right. Mortgage, but this is the non-QM space, um, they certainly don't move as fast. No. <laughs> right. I mean, again, we had Matt, the mortgage guy, and he showed me like in a 90 minute window where there were 17 repricings and they were all negative. They were all bad. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> uh, that doesn't happen in the non space, but the non space, they, they're still an end buyer. Right. And if the end right, buyer's right. appetite changes because the short end got uh, higher, it makes perfect sense. That's why we told you to do all this. What I, where I'm going right. with this is my opinion only, not Stevens, my opinion only. <laughs> rates are not done going up no the fed hasn't even done anything yet they're just lip smacking uh so um you know people are talking about the fed at least doing four i think they're going to be more aggressive than that so right whatever uh right. but again if you're in the game if you've been thinking about a refi if you have a commercial property oh my god if you have a commercial property and you have an right. adjustable rate mortgage right Let's do the math. I know. Let's do the right. math, right? It's it's. it's well, I, I think in that uh, space, depending upon who they're talking to, there may be one side as far as perspective, mm -hmm. as far as payment relief or, or or low payments. They're maybe not looking all the way around the corner down the road a little bit further as far as the longevity of this. 
or this property, do you plan on keeping it long term? Okay, mm -hmm. then what would you say in five years, three years, mm -hmm. or seven years, however long this short term fixed is? Mm -hmm. What do you believe rates are going to be at? And so then it's really them just rolling the dice to see what happens in three or five years. But I don't know about that. You know, I try to use an analogy. It's like going to Vegas and putting down what you know you have, which is, you know, long term fixed 30 year um, uh, 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 savings and trying to see if you can save just a little bit more money. So you're putting down a large amount of money to see if you can win a little bit of money. That doesn't make sense. No, no. Um... Again, so the investing of points and stuff like that, because I remember you had talked to Matt, the mortgage guy, mm -hmm. about a particular scenario. And, and sorry, not trying to you know be That's a fine. mass parade or like that. Yeah. I just found it interesting that, especially in an increasing market, I think if you're willing to pay a small investment to buy down rates as far as you can, and typically in the cash out refinance, it doesn't affect your overall cash flow. At least, again, my perspective, Mike, you might have a different yeah. you know, uh, uh, look at this, but I always look at, I do the recouping period calculation. Right? Yeah, That's my perspective. And I would say, hey, if you're going to keep it longer than this time period, then you win. If you mm -hmm. don't, then it's not worth it to buy down the, yeah. the rate at all because you're never going to make that money back. So, and we do that math and I say, well, now you know, it's going to take you 32.332 months or 24. So after that, you win. So if you're telling me you're not going to keep it for that long, then don't do it. Otherwise, yeah. you're talking about this payment for the, how many more years after that? You know, and they're yeah. like, I get it, you know? So then yeah. now they're like, yeah, it's a small investment now to win big later on. Instead of the opposite, like, oh, I just want a low payment, now, but I don't want to pay anything for it. Okay, but you're rolling the dice of possibly losing a lot more down the road for saving a little bit now. Yeah. So. Yeah, again, we've had 40 years of basically declining rates. Yep. I, could, I could very easily see the next three to five years being increasing rates. Um, with inflation and where yeah. we're at, just world, yeah, just, uh, I mean, again, I think of war with Ukraine, even, uh, maybe. I'm not geez. trying to pee in everybody's brain. I know I'm trying not to put that in the back of my head, but yeah. I'm a child of war, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was born in Vietnam, 1972, and it was in the middle of all that conflict, so it's not a pretty sight, so that, I think, mental stress level in some, you know, mm -hmm. areas, and just with everything, I don't know. I'm trying not to be, uh, 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 you know. Uh, yeah, what I, again, I, what I would tell people is just, and more importantly, it's what I did. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I try to look around the corner to use your analogy to 2025. Yeah. Yep. And I could not confidently say where rates were. I could tell you that the chances of them being lower, in my opinion, were not great. There are people out there right. talking about deflation and rates going lower. Great. If that happens, I'll refi and be just fine. Um, right. But I, wa I wanted to control the downside. So in the end, if mm -hmm. you missed it, you weren't paying attention, you were busy. Congratulations. You have another attempt. It'll be a little bit more expensive. Uh, right. But if they want to at least call you or reach out and do the math with you, how do you want yeah. them to do that? Uh, again, uh, please email me at sdao, uh, S-D-A-O at velocitymortgage.com. Uh, it's typically below in, 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 mm -hmm. uh, if you scroll down. Uh, also, please put in the subject line because people forget this and they'll put what they're looking for. Just the acronym of O-R-A-A-T because I've gotten a ton of emails with that subject line, so our firewall has recognized that. Ooh, I might not want to say that too loud with some <laughs> maybe looking at this, but I doubt it. I don't know. But in any case, um, that does allow to get past. But uh, 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 other than that, please, O R A A T in the subject line, yeah. please put in the body. Don't forget the second have. A, the second A. Right. They, that's the other part. They do that a lot. Um, and or uh, uh, please put in the body of the email just a, a brief uh, breakdown of what you're looking for. A lot of people have, you know, a specific idea. So at least property address, if you have it, if not city and state that the property's located in, property type, desired loan amount, maybe estimated value or purchase price, and then your mid FICO score. That's pretty much, oh, and, and the best phone number to reach you back at, because it's a lot easier to make a quick phone call versus somebody yeah. emailing me, call me. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't, I work every single day. I'm work, yeah. I don't have time to eat. This is why I'm literally sucking down like, you know, breakfast calories, too, man, you know? <laughs> That's why for like, almost 60 something days in a row. I never left the house. I was oh shaving God. and cutting my own hair oh my because God. it was, and I would just be able to just cut the, the, the sides. I finally got an actual decent haircut because <laughs> yeah, I, I kept, I, I got tired of wearing a hat everywhere. I went outside <laughs> and I had just chunks in my head. And shark, so, shark teeth, they call that. <laughs> oh my God. It was, I went to the, the, to the barber and they looked at me like, 
what happened? Did you lose a bet or something? Or, you know, <laughs> did you keep doing you know, this? <laughs> yeah, no, they're like, fantasy football is not done. Did you lose in your, in your league or something? And that was part of the bet. Like you got to <laughs> try to cut your own hair without a mirror. I don't know. So it was just, yeah. Uh, anyway, crazy. it was just nonstop, you know, always working. So what I'm saying is to try to make our phone calls and, and conversations and communications as efficient and time, you know, efficient as possible. I, I, that's all I ask because I'm very short on time. I would love to try to get to everybody in a timely manner and to try to get to everybody so I can, uh, you know, try to see how I can help. But it, that's all I'm asking for. But other than that, call me, email me. I'm, I'm working all weekend. I love it. Let's do yeah. it. Folks, this is the time. If you want to get in front of Stephen, do it this weekend. Reach out, sdow yes. at velocitymortgage.com. Don't miss this opportunity. It's Again, not to confuse clear. pressure with urgency. I say yeah. this a lot. Not to confuse pressure with urgency. Rates are on the move. You can see it around. Don't yeah. ask. Don't take my word for it. So I'm not trying to, I'm just saying, don't wait. If you're mm-hmm. going to wait, you're going to miss the boat like some other people last year, but a lot of people didn't. And I know, oh my God, I've gotten tons of emails. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so happy we got it done. So they got in. They're at the 399, 30 year fix on commercial, on multifamily. You're not going to see that right now. Yeah. No. Go, go and shop yeah. for it. It's not even available. You no. can't even get it anymore if you want it. Yeah. So anyway. Crazy. Cool. All right, buddy. Thanks again. Thanks, man.